How's it going guys? Sneev Bomb here and welcome back to another how to video. Today I'm going to tell you how to fix this glitch to where on Windows 10 the Logitech G27 racing wheel is recognized as a Logitech driving force or whatever it's called. Anyways, this is the fix for it. Alright, first of all what you want to do, you want to go to remove a program or add or remove programs. Okay, you scroll on down on t until you see something called Logitech Gaming Software 5.10 or Logitech Gaming Software 8 point something. Well, if you want to uninstall that, because what, you, what it is, in, basically it's the driver for the wheel, you go ahead and uninstall it. After you do that, you go to Google or whatever you use, and uh, hold on here. You use the link I have put in the description to get the driver again. Cause basically, what you're doing, you know how if you restart something, like turn on, turn back off, it works how it's supposed to. Basically, same thing we're doing here, except re-downloading it. It's a Dropbox. You go and download it. Hold on. Uh, why are you not downloading? Okay, there we go. I already downloaded it a few times because I was being stupid. Okay, and so run. Go ahead and just go through this. That was the sound of, of it um, disconnecting and reconnecting my G27 wheel, which is over there in the sim racing area. As you can see, it says Logitech G27 racing wheel device is ready. I am 99% sure this works for the Logitech G25. I am 90% sure. And as you see, you know, I've already, like, this already been configured and stuff, so go ahead and mash OK. Finish. That's the readme file, just exit out that. That's done. And there it is. Instead of this picture right here being a Logitech driving force, it's going to meet your G27. And it all should work perfectly. Anyways, I hope you found this useful, helped you a lot. Anyways, I've been Sneak Bomb, and I'll see all you happy people in the next video.